Hi guys, Gordon Ryan here. Today I'm going to show you the new features within Windows Server Backup within Windows Server 2008 R2. There's some exciting new features here, especially when you compare it to the original release of Windows Server Backup that we saw within Windows Server 2008. For this demonstration, I've got two servers already set up. They're running the R2 release of Windows Server 2008. In this case, it's the release candidate. And I've already set up the first server with the backup installed, and I've run a couple of backups. This second server, I've set it up as a network share, and I'm also going to show you how you actually install the Windows Server Backup feature. So we'll jump straight into that. And if I've got the server manager open up here, I'll click on Features, I'll click on Add Features, Features, and if I scroll down, you'll see I have the Windows Server Backup feature. So if I'll click that, you'll see it gets selected as a grade option. So it does the Windows Server Backup option, but the command line tools are not selected by default. The Windows Server Backup option will give you the graphical tools for managing and for performing and doing restores and doing backups within your Windows Server environment. If you choose the command line options, then you'll get a command line tool called WB Admin, and you'll also get some PowerShell commandlets for use within the PowerShell environment to manage and to script your backups that way. So once I've selected those options, I'll click Next, and then I can click Install, and that will install the server backup features for you, and that's going to take a minute or two. I'm now over on Server 1, so this is a machine where I've already installed the Windows Server Backup tool. The first thing I want to then do is actually load the Windows Server Backup tool. And I can find this underneath Admin Tools, and you'll see here I have Windows Server Backup. Because I've run this a couple of times, you'll see it's already appeared here on my Start menu. When this opens up, you can see here I get a message about any alerts that I need to be aware of. I can see the jobs that have run. It'll tell me what the last job that was run, the next backup for when it's scheduled, how many backups have actually been created. I can then click on View Details and I can see all the backups that have occurred. And then over on the right-hand side, I have the Actions pane. And here I've got the options of doing scheduling a new backup. I can do a one-off backup. I can go and recover so I can recover a file. I can recover the system state. I can recover a volume. And then I have the options here to configure my performance settings. So I can choose whether or not I'm going to do normal backups or if I'm going to do incremental backups. And I can also customize that so I can choose to do incremental backups only on specific volumes. And the advantage of performing an incremental backup is you can get some fairly significant improvements in the amount of time it will take to do a backup because once that first full backup has been performed, we are only then going to be backing up the changes to a volume. So I'm going to click Cancel on that though, and I'm going to focus over here on doing a scheduled backup. So I'll click on Backup Schedule. Because I don't already have a backup schedule in place, when I click Next, I'll get given the option of whether I want to back up the whole server or if I want to do a custom backup. If I do a full server backup, it's going to back up all of the volumes on the machine. It's going to back up the system state, and it's also going to choose the option of bare metal recovery. For this demonstration, though, I want to focus on the ability we have now to back up specific files and folders and to uh, not be restricted to just doing volume level backups, which we had with the 2008 release of Windows Server Backup. So I've selected Custom. I'm going to click Next, and I can now come in here, and I can choose what I'm going to back up. So if I click on Add Items, I can get a list of all of the volumes on the machine, as well as this option of the bare metal recovery and the system state. If I choose bare metal recovery, this is going to back up the volumes on the machine as well as the system state that are required to actually rebuild this machine in the event of a catastrophic failure. For this demonstration, though, I don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to clear that, and I'll get rid of the other volumes in here. And the first thing to note here is that I have the ability to back up the system state from the graphical tool. Within Windows Server 2008 and the Windows Server Backup, you could not do a system state backup through the graphical console. You had to go to a command prompt and run WB Admin. So it's great to see that within the R2 release, I can actually schedule a system state backup and, I can, and do a manual system state backup from the graphical tool. When I dig down into a volume, so here you can see I've got local disk C, I can come in here, I can select the entire volume. What 